Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Taylor, and I need your help. We need your help, actually, this channel. And seeing as you're on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers talk about it too. The Adpocalypse, which while the name is not great, it's still an apt description. All right, let's just start from the beginning, okay? We started writing this show in February of last year, filmed our first episode that summer, and actually launched the channel at the end of September. On the one hand, woo, we're about to hit our one year anniversary. Go team. On the downside, well, we wanted to hit certain targets, a certain amount of subscribers per month, and hopefully ending the year with a full 1,000. I didn't think it was outside the realm of possibility. It seemed perfectly reasonable. The main goal of the channel was never a numbers game. Not for me anyways. The, the mission statement for the main show was always, here's a whole bunch of my thoughts and opinions. I'm going to express them in a way that's hopefully entertaining, toss in a bunch of movie and pop culture references, and let's see if people like it. For the most part, it looks like you guys do, and hopefully that won't change anytime soon. However, there's also the issue of reality, and in reality, we all have rent to pay. We have to keep the lights on, and we need to occasionally eat things, and to do that, we all need jobs. Most of us. Some people were born into money and have no worries in that respect whatsoever. I am not one of those people. In fact, in order to keep paying the bills and my stomach full, I've taken up a second job. Money is important in all of our daily lives. What that also does is cut into whatever scrap of spare time I've got. Now, onto why you, the viewer, should be concerned about all this. This past month, July, was the first month since the beginning of this year where we didn't actually hit our goal for the month for new people subscribing on YouTube. We did get our grand total in the end, but that's because of new people following us over on vid.me, where we're uploading all of our old episodes as well as, eventually, posting there and here simultaneously. The reason why this matters is, well, our first year is coming up. And after that first year, myself and Dan, the guy who films all the work we've done so far and actually started an episode himself, we're going to look at the show, look at what we're doing, and how much we can do, if anything, to move forward. Getting a thousand subs in our first year would have gone a long way towards ensuring that we would continue working on this. Sadly, the adpocalypse happened and is technically continuing to happen. For those who don't know, YouTube's most popular slash most subscribed content creator, PewDiePie, released some videos that referenced Hitler and the Nazis, and whether or not it was a joke or satire or an examination for how quickly we as a society jump on whatever rage-induced hate train that pulls up to Crazy Time Station, it did not go over well. Not even slightly. So all the media outlets came a-callin', PewDiePie is a racist, an anti-Semite, and to the hills they did run, as far away as they could from YouTube and every content creator as far as the internet could see. Big or small, just about every YouTuber imaginable was hit. AdSense is down all across the board, but not only that, promotion is gone too. Now I know that YouTube being owned by Google and whatnot, the number one concern is money. It's a business, and the only thing that matters is the bottom line. If I was a flowery, just got out of college and have no idea how the real world works 20-something type, then yeah, I'd have a problem with that. However, I'm an adult, and I don't fault them one bit. Wrong as they may be in some of the larger details. The thing is, though, with money not being put in and sponsorship going away, promotion goes out the window, and as much as the big guys got hit, and they did, the smaller guys got hit just as hard. And us? We're tiny. We're a molecule on a tiny fish that gets eaten by a bigger fish. Seeing as our viewership is low, our sub numbers are low, there's very little money that companies would be getting by placing ads on our content and thus no promoting us to get higher, to reach more people and thus gain more of a following. Now Dan and I and a few others as well, we all have ideas for how to put out more content. To do more than just one video a week by just me and only having my thoughts and ideas out there. We have plenty of show ideas, but it requires time, and it needs to be worth it. That's where you guys all come in. See, all YouTubers started at zero, and we are no different. The thing that sets them apart is that they've had years to build up an audience, and it started with liking and sharing. All that we ask is that you guys do the same. If you like a particular episode more than the others, post it on Facebook. Don't agree with something I said? Share it anyways. Maybe one of your friends will agree or at least be able to start a conversation. Maybe help you see things, not from my point of view per se, but 
just a different one. Over the next few weeks, we're going to do what we can to bring out more per week. It could be blooper reels, it could be making up features, and another one of our friends wants to help us out and release his opinions on things too. But we still need your help to get to that point where we can do this as our day job. If you like what you see, please help us out. Get the word out. A thousand subscribers by the end of our first year, which is the end of September. It's still possible, but the more you guys share it, the better. That way, YouTube, the place we put our thoughts and see what the show is worth supporting and give us that push. I love doing this show. I love being able to talk and interact with you guys. Responding to your comments is some of my favorite things to do now because it allows that back and forth to happen. But time is a valuable commodity. So please lend us a hand. If you like what we do, if you only like some of it, please don't stop the signal. Send it as far and as wide as you possibly can. My name is Chris Taylor. This was The Devil's Advocate. I need a nap.